Hey, hey, it's Monday. It is October 25th. I am covering today the Monday hangover of with a filtered YouTube channel. All right, today is the Monday hangover. So much sports in one weekend and sports entertainment, wrestling, you know, all that good stuff. I literally had almost a complete breakdown of it because I had a lot going on. Yeah, that's a fan. Sorry, guys. Uh, anyways, good morning. Good. It was a good good weekend for me. I won money on my fantasy sports. Yes. So I am five and two this week. You know, five and two in the fantasy football. That's great. That's fantastic. I love it. Uh, I really probably did not see a lot of the sports coming. The scores were pretty big and they were pretty out there. And yeah, I kind of just on the bed that time. So let's uh, let me go over what I probably uh, shouldn't have picked and what I should have picked. Okay, so my prediction was Broncos over the Browns. I was wrong. Browns won that on the Thursday nighter. Chiefs lost badly. I don't even know what's going on there. They just lost horribly to the Titans, twenty-seven to three. Patriots beat the sh out of the freaking Jets. 54 to 13 did did not see that coming. Bengals beat the <laughs> they didn't even just beat them. They annihilated them at home in the Ravens area. Sorry about that. I'm at my restaurant right now, and the phone's ringing, and I'm not going to answer it. My dad yelled at me last time when I did this with the podcast. I'm so sorry. I just had to step there. Uh, Packers beat up on the, the Washington team. I knew that was coming. The Falcons and the Dolphins. The Falcons are finding their groove. They beat the Dolphins. Uh, Panthers got the crap kicked out of them by the freaking Giants. I can't believe that. I'm so pissed at that. I was picking the Panthers. Then you have the Eagles versus the Raiders. The Raiders are now 2-0 and without Gruden there being their head coach. So that's not a surprise, I guess, now. The Lonely Lions are 0-7. And they lost to the Rabs 28-19. That's all right. It's, you know, it, the Rams are going to be a hell of a great team. And I'm not going to disrespect that. Cardinals are the only 7-0 and team. Beat the crap out of the Houston Texans. 31 to 5. Then you had the Buccaneers just basically also annihilate another team in the in the Bears. 38 to 3. And then the Colts on Monday night or on the Sunday nighter beat the 49ers. Like I said, the Colts were going to beat the 49ers. Everybody had the 49ers picked, but the Colts did it. Carson Wentz rocked it again. So tonight is your uh, Saints versus Seahawks. They're saying the Saints. I probably have to say the saints too because it's just it's the way it works that's unless seattle can find their 12th man and i doubt that's gonna happen right now it's not gonna even be feasible but it is what it is so let's go over to the weekend there we go so the 22nd uh nope 23rd Yes, 23rd. Let me see where I was. Yes, I was. So, your Saturday game scores were pretty, you know, it was what it was. The Rangers beat the Senators by only one goal. That's not a surprise. Capitals lost in overtime to the Flames. That's kind of a surprise. The Wild and the the Wild are 0-4. This is a surprise. They're 0-4. They won in overtime against the Ducks. The Sabres finally lost, or no, they got a loss now, two losses now, so one in regulation, one in overtime, but they lost to the Devils, so, you know, it is coming down the Sabres tunnel. Montreal beat the Red Wings. Okay, so this team, Montreal, everybody's talking about how Montreal was really, 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 really bad. They're starting to turn that page. They're starting to turn, starting to corner. 
They're one and five. Yes. Okay. It's six games into the season. I understand. It's not the panic. Push the panic button because it is early season. When I go and flip down and I look at the Maple Leafs who got annihilated by Pittsburgh, who have no Malkin, no Latang, no Carter, no Crosby, their freaking captain, and a few other top-notch players, and they still get beat 7-1. This team is supposed to compete in the playoffs, and they're getting beat. They're two and three and one. Okay, I, I'm done hearing about how great Toronto is because the Maple Leafs ain't great. Apparently, they're really shit. They're just garbage. They're shit. I'm sorry. You spent so much money on your forwards. You got, really, you're lacking defense. And no offense to Jack Campbell and Peter Mrazek. Great goalies. You don't have a number one goalie. So, <laughs> on that. Uh, much, uh, Avalanche beat the Lightning 4-3 in a shootout. Panthers beat, Panthers are un, are still undefeated at 5-0. And they beat the Flyers. Well, that's not a, such a big surprise. The Hurricanes are 4-0, and and they beat the Blue Jackets. Again, not a surprise. Predators lost 6-4 to the Jets, and that is not even close of a surprise. But the Jets are starting to find their feet. The Blues are 4-0, and and they beat up on the lonely LA Kings. 7-3. The Islanders, you know, beat up on the lonely Oats. 3-0. And my Canucks... To end the night, took the home opener of Seattle's very first NHL game. See, hey, Seattle had a, you know, they had the lead twice. And then uh, I, I got to give it up to Connor Garland. He was just freaking absolutely crazy. Bo Horvat, Captain Bo, I will see you guys all tomorrow down at Rogers Arena for our home opener. Hell yeah. And that's going to be fantastic. That is just going to be epically fun for me. So. The EPL was, uh, well, EPL. <laughs> Chelsea beat Norwich really bad, 7-0. Castle and uh, Palace tied. I knew that was going to be a draw. I kind of had a funny feeling. Watford beat Everton like everybody picked Everton. I kind of went the other way. Wolverhampton tied. Okay, so that's keeps me out of the clear and Southampton and Berlin tied Man City beat Brighton which my prediction was wrong on that front uh now uh Bratford lost to Leicester I thought Bratford would have won West Ham beat Tottenham that's a surprise but the biggest shock to was yesterday was Man U losing 5-0 at home to Liverpool that was a shock yeah it, I think it's time to you know, sack Oli and bring in Zidane. Zidane, 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 the French czar. I love that guy. But that's my coverage. So uh, on that, on the sports front, I will get more in depth into the NBA. It's still too early for me. Uh, Major League Baseball, I'm really, really disappointed. My Dodgers lost, the Red Sox lost. So now it's Braves and Astros. Let's go, I guess, Braves. I'm not going to really say much on that front because that's not my cup of tea. Uh, pro wrestling, I watched Impact Wrestling, which was a pretty damn good uh, pay-per-view from my, from my point of view. It was a really good pay-per-view. It, uh, it, was, it was done right. It was Braun Strowman didn't show up, a.k.a. Adam Shear. But, you know, that's to be expected. Probably couldn't really work much on a deal right now. And whatever, it's it's vice versa. It is what it is, and uh, you can't you can't fault the guy who really he he is who he is. He's um, he wants to get paid, and I'm not gonna argue with somebody who wants to get paid. And you can't. But to talk about the sports at hand and what happened, like. It was a really, it was really good. This, 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 this weekend was awesome for sports. I'm just going to say that point blank. It was just off the chain. It was off the hook, especially if you're a football fan, a hockey fan, a soccer fan, you know, or a pro wrestling fan. It was loaded. 
Uh, I didn't get to watch the Rampage episode because, again, up here, it's only on TSN Direct, and I'm not going to pay much of a fee for that right now. I pay enough on so many streaming things I already do, and, yeah, I'm going to go broke if I keep adding more. So, besides that, that's besides my point, uh, AEW Dynamite Saturday was really, really good. I just don't understand why they can't do a Malachi Black and Cody Rhodes match on a pay-per-view, which probably would probably be doing a lot better. But, you know, whatever. We got a third one. Like, we really didn't need it, but we got it. It was a, it was a good match. But, again, if you're going to build this feud or this storyline, capitalize on your pay-per-view. Uh, Brian Danielson versus the natural Dustin Rhodes, that was a really good match. I liked that one. That was really good. I can't, like, there was a lot of spot stuff. Uh, I'm still trying to get understand why Dan Lambert and the American top team is in pro wrestling for I don't know what reason. You guys are MMA guys, but okay, whatever it is, do you want to try to feel the fires or feel the fans? By all means, do what you want chase those lonely dreams of yours i really don't know but i'm gonna go back to the hockey especially like the canuck seattle game was just I, I the the atmosphere in seattle was so i can't even explain it it was just it was there and it was exhilarating now what vancouver and seattle need are nba teams that's it. NBA teams. You're going to get money made. L, build this bullet train. I'll go down to Seattle all the time. That's my opinion. But I had a really good weekend. You know, I'm, I'm almost down to 30 plus pounds on my weight. So I'm good on that. But again, uh, pro wrestling tonight, we got, you know, we have the fallout from the whole Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch thing on Friday. Apparently got edited for other countries, got edited out, just period. Apparently, Charlotte got escorted out of the building by security and all that other good junk. And, uh, yeah, that's just what that end was. Uh, the What I would take away from this whole situation, like, the most epic part of Friday Night Smackdown was probably Brock Lesnar. And the whole beginning of it was just freaking hilarious. Because he just did his old Brock Lesnar stuff and started destroying shit and throwing people around and getting into people's face. Hey, I like Brock Lesnar for that because I'm not going to hate on him. He is one hell of a tough motherfucker. If he can go from pro wrestling to MMA and dominate both sides, hell yeah. He said he was awesome. It was funny. I probably can see Lesnar winning the Royal Rumble. And apparently WrestleMania is now, again, a two-day special. So Saturday, Sunday, come next year. That's I think that's what they're going to go to is a two-day thing and capitalize on money that way. And that's fine because, seriously, a lot of fans would enjoy that. Um. But to go back to the Saturday's game, I'm sorry I'm all over the place because I was just, again, I'm hungover from all the sports. I cannot believe how much sports I had to take in, sports entertainment. I just, there was not enough time for me to just soak it all in. So uh, the Connor Garland goal was a stutter step goal. He came in, fake slap, and just tapped right through Grubauer. Like, honestly, that was a good goal. That was a great goal. I loved it. Bo Horvat's two goals were just so simple and dirt in the dirty space where the space you cannot get into. And he got in there and he tapped two goals in right away. Like, hey, there you go. And Justin Dowling, hey, look at that guy. He's doing good. You know, a lot of people were trying to question why we were making these moves, picking up these guys. And I'm, you need depth. You need depth players. You have your fort. Okay. I saw PD in the Chicago game and some of the other games. He had his shot. Saturday's game, he had his shot was way off the mark. He wasn't himself. I'm thinking maybe getting home, 
play the home game, first home game, and he might just get his his wheels turning. Miller's doing all right. He's getting some points up in there. Besser's getting some points up in there. Hughes as well. As I say, Connor Garland's on a six point, or he's on a point per game, six game point streak. So he's like a point, maybe two point a game guy. He is worth that deal. I don't care. Everybody can flack me for this and give me crap for all this. It was a good deal between Arizona and Vancouver. Okay, We shipped out three massive contracts. We may have picked up one our Albatross, but we picked up the player we needed in Connor Garland. So we got what we needed. Yeah, we gave up our first round pick. Big freaking deal. Big deal. But besides all that, it is what matters. The team is they're two two and one or three two and one after six games on the road. That means they picked up seven points out of a possible twelve on a six game road trip. They picked up the valuable first point in the first game. They picked up a win. They picked up another uh, loss and then they picked up like they picked up two losses, but then they picked up wins, two wins. That is great. And especially the two wins to end the road trip. That is fantastic. Go into your home opener to win your home opener now tomorrow. If you can against a very hot Minnesota Wild team would be a fantastic start to your season. Because you took one point away from, you know, your road loss, overtime loss with, or shootout loss with Edmonton in the first game. That's fine. Whatever. That was still the first point. We broke that curse where we lose always the first game. That's fine. Now we broke it. Now we can move on. I am hearing there's uh, Travis Hamannick will probably be here in Vancouver pretty soon. I don't know how he ties into the team's defense right now because Kyle Burroughs is doing a really good job. Jack Rathbone's doing a really good job. Tucker Pullman's finding his ways. As I say, Hughes is on his game. Myers is doing a hell of a good job out there. And Ekman Larson, for all the flack he gets, I gave him flack when he was in Arizona. But as I said, let's see what he does. I have a funny feeling he's going to have a really good season here. And I'm pretty correct right now. He's having a hell of a good season right now. It may be early. It may be six games. But he's still doing what he's doing and what he's supposed to do. The thing is, to that game, to all these games leading up to this home game, the team is starting to gel. I understand the top line, the lotto line, the PD Besser and Miller line is still. You got to understand. I was listening. PD on Saturday. PD only played in a total 40 games last season. If you count the bubble and then all this, he was really not wanting to sit out training camp he really wanted to be at training camp and that's great maybe from here on out these players who are rfas just understand let your agent play play the guy who does your numbers let him deal with that show up to training camp don't sit out and just be there what do you got to lose by being just at training camp nothing but you get to work with newcomers that are coming to your team I think building chemistry and building that foundation of teamship and sportsmanship and brotherhood in that locker room would be a very key component for you to have a very successful season. It says sitting somewhere waiting for your contract to come because honestly, that's why you have an agent and that's his job. Your job is to put your ass on the ice and score goals, put up points and help your damn team win. That's the whole opinion to that. I just get frustrated. I've heard there's some, uh, now I'm going to flip over. I heard some rumor about uh, Deshaun Watson possibly getting traded to a couple of teams like Miami or somewhere. But he has legal challenges right now. He has a lot of legal problems, not just with the league, but outside the league. He's had 32 complaints and 31 of them are, you know, being investigated on charges. So he's kind of like... Um, rock in a hard place and something's going to smash so it's like he is on the roster but not on the roster 
in Houston, so that's kind of weird. And right now, as the league has this like policy in the NFL, if you are being criminally charged or criminally investigated for other acts of uh, things outside of it, you cannot play. So whatever. I'm not going to get too much in that. Uh, again, I can't wait for tomorrow. I am going to the home opener. I got tickets. Free. I didn't pay. Free tickets. This is awesome. Free. I love it. <laughs> and, yeah, I'll probably do some uh, video vlogs tomorrow, too, as well, like on my way down to my buddy's place and shit. And, uh, you know, help out my Instagram a little more. Uh put up some more stuff on my youtube and that it's it is interactive i will put it on my tiktok and my as my instagram and my snapchat probably so i'll i'm sorry i'm really like i was running today i was all over the place so i'm a little woo, and i just did my workout so again like as i say it's it was a fun fill weekend i will keep giving you more uh tonight is the monday nighter it is coming so uh Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Vasilis Didn't Come With a Filter podcast. You know, it's me. I just covered most of my podcast of what I was doing. This is a YouTube channel, I should have said. I am playing some video games like I am. I thought I'd do a little bit of that today, too. Has anybody played this Family Guy on your phone? Like, I am seriously really, really bad at this game. It's taking me forever to get wherever I am in this game. And yeah, this this definitely does suck. Anyways, as I was going on. Uh yeah, I've you know, in my life I, I'm starting to feel a little bit better. I'm I'm up to about forty five to fifty percent better on my health, mental health. I'm not letting anxiety kick my ass. I'm not going to let depression kick my ass. I'm not going to let stress kick my ass neither. So, you know, it is what it is. But, yeah, uh, I enjoy talking to you guys. I, I'm just, you know, my weight loss, I've incorporated now push-ups. Last night, in my entire life, I've never, ever done 50 push-ups. And I did it last night. Like, for the great, by the grace of God, I did 50. 50 freaking push-ups you can never see me doing push-ups honestly i don't even see myself doing 50 let alone that i at one point i could barely do five i could barely do two push-ups but now i'm getting in there i'm starting to do my push-ups i'm start. i'm almost down 30 plus pounds since i started in the summer or late summer and now i'm almost down like I have gone from being huge to actually starting to shrink. And a lot of people are starting to notice big change in me. I, I've cut down on the pops. That's the biggest thing. I cut down on my pops. I've cut out bread, really. Like, I'll have, yeah, I'll have my cheat meal, but I've really cut out a lot of the bread. The bread is, like, hard to cut out because 90% of what you're going to be eating is with bread. And it's really hard to try to figure out what you can and cannot eat and you know being on a high high protein no carb diet it's like oh my god what am i going to eat today am i going to eat more chicken or am i going to eat more eggs am i going to eat more fish it, you know you, you gotta you know high protein vegetables or whatever there is or helps with the high protein you know veggies but i i'm not gonna sink on that but I'm working hard on it, and I'm doing really, really well. So again, uh, you know, I will probably do an edit tutorial on how to shave my head tomorrow because I have one person ask me to cam with them. I can't always, I can't be doing cams. It's really, really hard for me because uh, my my phone is attached. Like the way I do my tutorials, it's attached to my phone because that's like I have a way better camera on my phone than I do. Well, I have a way better webcam, but I'm not going to stick my laptop in my <laughs> my bathroom when I'm shaving my head. It's kind of, you know, it's a little hard because I got water everywhere and I got cords, so it's kind of hard. So I'm going to go and do a tutorial on how to shave, my, like how I shave my head and how I, you know, I kind of really be careful. And the way I started doing it was like, I always use, I have both hands. So my razor is in this hand 
And I got to always make sure that I'm not going to clip myself. And that's, you know, I'm always dabbing, 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 dabbing. And once I get all the cream off, like the shaving cream off my head, I wipe it down and then I go over it a little more with my hands. Feel. I always have to feel. See, I'm, I can't see. <laughs> and I don't have another mirror. You know, that's a little awkward to do too. So I'm just going to put that out tomorrow as well. It's a lot harder than you think, but I've been doing this for like 10 plus years, shaving my head. I really cannot grow hair anymore. I am literally bald, as you guys can see. I can only grow it on the side, so I'm a bald guy, and eh, it shaves me on shampoo and conditioner. Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm enjoying that. Uh, again, like, yeah, I'll do that. Um, I... Hey, look at that. My double chin's gone. I got a lot of double chins going, and then it's going gone. Uh, as, you know, I, I don't really like to, um, as I say, I'm sorry. I'm just a little all over the place. I, I would love to appreciate like doing a camp thing with people, but again, like I'm always limited on my time. As I say, I'm at my business right now, and I'm doing this at my business. Uh, it's easier. It's better lighting. Uh, I got a nice comfy chair where my other one is like a kitchen table chair, like dining room chair, and it sucks like balls, and I hate that shit. It really hurts my ass and my back, so, you know, on that too. But again, um, I'm going to be trying to introduce more. Uh, I am going to try, like in the new year, try to do some of my hockey stuff, like get my skates and my uh, hockey equipment, and just show you guys, I like what I'm adding to my workout regimens and other activities just because that's what I am trying to accomplish <laughs> is trying to add more and you know facilitate myself a little bit better with the community out there and that's how I am I, I try to do everything with what I have I might also go get my basketball out too I don't know where my basketball is huh, good question yeah, I don't think I have one anymore. No, I uh, yeah, okay, I don't know what I did with it. I threw it at somebody a long time ago. It was in my one of my cars, and I threw it at one of my friends. And yeah, I don't even know where that went. I think it. Yeah, he he lived near a ravine, so he probably like threw it over there after I threw it off his head. He pissed me off. Yeah, lucky it was a baseball or a basketball. It wasn't a baseball. I could have thrown that too, but you know, whatever. Again, uh, I'm going to add more sport content to my YouTube page here uh, just just to watch, show you guys that I am actually being productive. I am going to try this year to also go snowboarding, if possible, if I am permitted to do it. That's if I get down past the 30-pound weight, maybe down to 225 it's a lot easier if I'm a little lighter in the back end and the front end. Trust me, the front end sucks. When you fall, you can't get your fat ass up. Just saying. It really sucks. But again, uh, I'll talk to you guys on Monday and, or tomorrow. Y'all you know, have a good Monday. Peace out. I like you guys. I love you guys. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking and commenting. And please continue to hit that subscribe, like, and comment. I will try to get to all your guys' comments as fast as I can. Sometimes uh, YouTube just takes them down for some weird reason. I don't know. Or they say the comments are no longer there. I will try to get to them as fast as I can. So, again, peace out. Have a happy Monday. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey, hey, hey. This is Vasilis with a... Who didn't come, or sorry, didn't come with a filter podcast, and the series didn't come with a filter YouTube channel. Sorry, I stumbled there. Uh, tomorrow's episode, Tuesday's episode, will be me previewing my home opener game that I'm going to to see the Canucks, my predictions from last night's hockey and NFL games. As well, I will talk about pro wrestling. You guys all have a great night.